said all year the value of being able to host first and second round games. You can see why. This is Caitlin Chad. She initiates the offense number 20 in the black. She might be the X factor for Princeton's Capital One starting five. There's a triple. Top of the key for the Tigers to get things started. Against Gray Stone. Watch that matchup today. Yeah, Stone with the first points. Corner three in the air. And the response. Nicole Cardano Hillary. Just a phenomenal showing. Plenty of crimson and cream in the stands. Had more than 6,000 here on Saturday for Indiana's victory over Charlotte. I'd say likely more tonight. Knocked off Columbia for the league title, their third straight. They've won 18 in a row. They're a hot team. And there you see the inside presence. Mitchell had four fouls the last game against Kentucky, and they need her in the game. So that matchup, we need to watch. Myers, such a skilled scorer, the captain with her first basket. If you don't play her all the way to the basket, you can see the block there by Holmes. Berger's a hard guard. You've got to stay with her the entire time. There she is, going to work again, into the paint, right to the rim. Princeton, and you saw that, and you see Berger here, just getting anywhere she wants to go off the dribble. Stone setting the screen for Cunningham. Mounted up at seven, few minutes in, second round action in Bloomington, and Gray Stone with the cold-blooded fadeaway, she's got five. Cardano Hillary on the run out, no numbers, back to Gould Bay. And Indiana loves to get out and run. The Spaniard chucks it up and it falls through. This place is juiced. This crowd is incredible as you see the steal there by Connolly. That's Maggie Connolly gets a run in the first quarter with Myers on the bench. Cunningham splashes a three. Three turn. A mismatch there with Holmes on chin. They missed her. They missed her. Oh, oh Lord, that, that's why. Bails them out. Yeah, so they miss the inside mismatch, but you see the help there, and that's what Princeton's going to do. They're going to try to help on the post players. And this offense built on rhythm, motion, ball movement. Stone got the three. Both teams playing spirited, high energy, and terrific shot making early on. Cunningham, yes. Princeton has a four-point lead, largest of the evening for either team. Goulbay flings it up and in. Myers and Chan have both been whistled for two fouls. Pat Berg wants the three. Fouled! Count it! Chet Nowacki into the game, number 25 in the black. Connolly contested layup. That's down. There's Berger, just two points in that first quarter. Holmes, three posts. Great position and the score. Oh, how did that one fall through? It's Holmes again. Established inside game and listen to this crowd, Kevin. Cunningham picked up a loose basketball and sticks the 15 footer. Disciplined on both ends of the floor. They're going to run their stuff. They're going to take advantage of what the defense gives them. Nice little footwork there. Five minutes. Swirls down. One so, point game. Indiana leads it. Some might think that's not a good shot, but for Myers, it is. She has the green light from Princeton to shoot. In range. More McNeil, another. Yes. Chen on it for Princeton. Chen, great handles. Pulls up and knocks down the 15 footer. When they need points, she's definitely going to be the one to try to get it off the dribble. Berger into the paint. That's her game, getting inside the lane and dissecting the defense. 10 to shoot, Colbe. Cardano Hillary improvises, fades away and knocks it down. Boy, that, that looked like one of the cleanest looks Myers has had tonight. And Cardano Hillary was even right there. Now one of seven from the field. More McNeil. Lefty scoop. 
NC State and Notre Dame. They are into the regional semifinals. UConn and Central Florida coming up later. They'll preview that one. Berger checks the clock, lets it go, and puts it in. In scramble mode, so give it to your best player. Berger, the spin, the fadeaway, and connects. Oh, that, that, that's just nasty. I mean, unbelievable. She started out one for four, and she's been five for six since then. Princeton dying for a basket, and Grace Berger, uh, pardon me, Grace Stone does deliver. Goulbe, you got to respect that three-point shot. The assertive attack. Mitchell clears it. That's now nine rebounds for Mitchell. Chen. Oh, that's a difficult shot. Gray Stone on the attack. A wild pass. Chen bails her out. Stone's open. Makes it. Got it. And she hits it. And she has held Princeton down offensively since Meyer has not scored since the 7 09 mark of the first quarter. First quarter. Berger, or pardon, Catford that time, plug it up. That was on the heels of the Hoosiers opening up its largest lead. It was 14 at one point. Cunningham stuck underneath. And he nails the baseline jumper. Again, Indiana gone away from, I think, what really helped them, which is getting the ball inside. As you see, getting oh, the ball inside to Cunningham for Princeton. Since that point on an 11-2 run. Chin. Four seconds, pulls up, and puts it in. Woo. She hasn't touched the ball or scored in like 17 minutes. And I know Grace Berger's a big part of that, but part of the reason she has the room is to get it, because they get it inside the homes. Think they drew that one up? They heard me, they heard me. <laughs> Indiana has been one of the best teams, and not just the Big Ten, in the nation all year. Spent the entirety of the regular season in the top 10. There you Holmes. go, there you go. Get the ball into the big girl. Myers attacks. Leaner, got it. Boy, Papper has been brilliant on Myers tonight. Chasing her, pulls up. Contested jumper is pure. Princeton has a chance to take its first lead since the first quarter. We talked about how disciplined they were, and there it is. Beautiful feed to Mitchell. It's able to get some points in the paint. Well, Indiana has turned it over 15 times. It needs an answer. Cardano Hillary. Acrobatic finish. Inside of a minute and a half. Myers, no. Enough. So in those timeouts, did you give not one, but the next couple of plays that you want to run so you can save those timeouts? Oh. Berger's first points in 16 minutes. Well, they tried to deny it to her. They're switching everything. Myers, no. Short of the three. Holmes the board. If they double, what Indiana does out of the rotation. Hoosiers scoreless the last four and a half minutes. Berger. Crafty. Two point lead for the Hoosiers. They have one more. Nine seconds. Chen working off of Mitchell. Attacks. Flings it out. Turnover. They've got a foul. Myers fouls Papper. 2.3 to go. Huge one. 1.6. Cunningham, Myers lets it go. Clock expires. Indiana is headed back to the Sweet 16 for a second straight year.